So the two Republican leaders expressing concern about Kamala Harris calling Donald Trump a fascist. Let's show an example of uh, Harris doing exactly what McConnell and Johnson are taking issue with. She's a Marxist, communist, fascist, socialist. I'm sorry, the control room, th that was actually Donald Trump calling Kamala Harris a fascist in September. Control room, are you ready? Please run the clip of Kamala Harris calling Donald Trump a fascist, which offended the Republican leaders. Somebody's got to explain this woman. This is a radical left Marxist, communist, fascist. Okay, again, I'm sorry. That was Trump calling Harris a fascist. I apologize. Control room, can we get it together? Johnson and McConnell are very upset that Kamala Harris called Donald Trump a fascist. Please roll the clip. Humor me. Authoritarian. Um, uh, admires people who are dictators. Uh, he has said that. Um, so he fall, certainly falls into the, into the general definition of, of uh, fascist, for sure. Okay, so that was Donald Trump being called a fascist, but not by Kamala Harris. That is retired Marine General John Kelly, Trump's longest-serving chief of staff, coming to the conclusion that Donald Trump is a fascist in his view. Um, guys, she did say this. She said it here on CNN. Don't you have a clip from CNN? We have got to stop him. Milley said, you have got to stop him. By you, he meant the press broadly. Quote, he is the most dangerous person ever. I had suspicions when I talked to you about his mental decline and so forth, but now I realize he's a total fascist. Okay, so that was from CNN, but that was me reading a quote from former Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman General Mark Milley, who Trump appointed, Milley calling Trump a fascist in an interview with Bob Woodward. That wasn't Harris calling him a fascist. Control room, come on. I know we have this clip somewhere from CNN. Come on, show it. Do you think Donald Trump is a fascist? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Thank you. My control room going a little bit rogue there and making a point, perhaps. This is obviously what Mike Johnson and Mitch McConnell are worried about. Kamala Harris agreeing with the words of some of the people who have worked closely with Trump in the Oval Office in the Situation Room. Th that's, that's what they have an issue with, not Trump using these very same words. CNN